Wow. Woo wee! Can you believe how much that's going? Ah, uh, there's like old oh, rings going up and down again. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay. Whoa. First name's Miko. Um, I'm a chiropractor assistant. I also have a second job too. Yeah, what um, do you do with that? Um, I work at a front desk at a resort. Gotcha. Um, but what, where I'm from, California. Um, can't say where, but exactly. About and she's trying to respect her doc, but we want to show you the difference between the Thera method and upper cervical. Um, well, I'm here because what's the number one symptom? I, this is the interesting one for them. The visual vertigo. I mean, the ringing in the ears, you know, is a hella annoying, and so is um, the dizziness and unbalance us a little bit. The visual vertigo, it looks like things are kind of like moving a little bit still. She got a second job at this resort for why? Uh, so that I can pay for treatment. <laughs> and she gets free treatment from her doctor. Yeah, that that's how serious it is. I was laying in bed, um, I was having a tantrum, I was having a bad day, and my dumbass decided to hit my head against the wall. And then literally 10 seconds later, I got tinnitus. And then I just started noticing after a month, I'm starting to feel like I'm on a, like a boat. Um, and then I start getting visual vertigo and it's all because of that instance. So I, it's crazy, honestly. I had no idea that that could happen. She's had ear infections when she was a baby. She had, she was a colicky baby. And so uh, we, I told her, I think this goes way back. So uh, nausea all the time? Uh, yeah. Drunk person gait, I love that. What is that, Dr you walk like you're drunk? I feel drunk. I, I try not to walk like I'm drunk, but I feel <laughs> exactly. drunk. <laughs> now, she spent a lot of money on medical quacks. You know, you guys are out there. I went to a neurotologist. She happens to be like the top neurotologist in Newport. I paid $2,000 for that. No, $2,100. You have endolymphatic high drops. I'm like, what is that? She's like, oh, it just means you're unbalanced. And I'm like, okay, but <laughs> what's the cause of it? All of a sudden, want to give me anxiety, depression pills and diuretics, I'm like, no, this is not the answer. There's no way. So I was like, deuces. Um, you know what? I went on Facebook groups and I talked to like probably 40, 50 people that had similar symptoms to me. So that went from like Lyme disease groups to vestibular migraines to vestibular neuritis groups. And there was just a, a few people that mentioned upper cervical. And I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> at this point, I'm like at my wit's end. Like I might as well try it because I, I can't deal with this anymore. So the chart looks like it's like moving. It's like, like almost like a dreamlike wave. It's doing this. Okay. It's very subtle. Okay, we can see our right occipital tilt here. The head's tilt to the right and 15 degree scoliosis. Here we have seven degree lumbar curve and constipation. Here is a pretty significant neck reversal at C3, really easy to see. And last one, sway back and constipation. Uh, my vision has gotten better. Um, I still, it's still moving in the background, but it's not as much as before. Gotcha. Um, as far as the rain tinnitus, it's still there. Um, and change with that at all? No. Gotcha. The vertigo? Um, no, it's, when you say vertigo, we're not talking about spinning. Balance, balance, no. balance. So um, I call it vertigo. Better, but still there. Gotcha. I still feel like I'm being pulled and I still feel like I'm not completely still, but it's manageable. It's way Just, manageable. So how much more, how, let's say percentage wise. 50% better, 10% better, 80% better. Compared to, okay. Before, compared to before I started treating you at all. Okay, I, I'd say before I was like maybe at a good 70%. And with him after that, definitely over 85%. Gotcha. For sure. Good, perfect. So uh, daily the nausea, you had the nausea too. How has that been? Oh, no nausea. No nausea, you had that on him before. I did. And the neck pain on the right, um, breathing. Breathing still sometimes, but no, not as bad as before. Good, so a lot of improvement. Yeah. And why are you back? Tell them why you're back. Um, you know, I want to get to a place of 100%. Of course. Um, and I know uh, privately we talked about, you know, need more treatments. We need to try different methods. You know, and I was initially fearful of that. And also, I'm, I'm in the middle of school. I have two jobs. So trying to work that into a busy schedule is hard. Um, but I know long term that this is what I feel like I need. Gotcha. So that's why I'm back. I mean, I've gotten a lot of improvement. So I'm glad she's back. We're gonna do occiput adjustments on her. And I was very fearful of doing it at the beginning because her symptoms and how she reacts to my treatment was a little bit hesitant to do it in the middle of our second week. So she's back. Uh, I, I encourage her to come back and I'm glad she is because we're gonna go and you get to see how this works. The occiput is just above the atlas. Again, it's, we're gonna adjust your cranium on top of your spinal cord or on top of your spinal column. And so it's a little different adjustment. What I'm doing is I'm gonna do a scooping motion to scoop your cranium again on top of the atlas. 
And so the contact point is right here off the mastoid process, right there. And it's a little bit more tricky because it's a little more painful because I have to put so much pressure on it. Yeah. You feel that? Yeah. Don't you? And so we're going to come right in here. And you got to let me have control of your jaw here. Good. Good. Ugh. How was that? Uh, not as bad as you thought? It's not as bad as I thought. Good. This one's tight. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you can feel it. I, I can, can feel like that. It. Yeah. I don't know why. I'm trying to... I'm trying no, to it's not about you. It's just, it's actually physically tight. The, the actual joint doesn't want to move. So I'm going to adjust it, but I'm just saying it's restrictive. That's all. Okay. Yeah, you're not fighting. You're doing good. Okay. I'm just saying I can feel it in there. Yeah, right there. See, I'm not getting this, I'm not going to the slot. I have to work around it a little bit here. Oh, good. Oh. Woo wee! Woo! Oh. It's a little different than the right side, huh? Yeah, and I'm feeling it all like throughout like the back. Yeah, right? right? Oh. Last day of the third week. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, why don't you tell them what's happened this last week? Oh my gosh, uh, the, it's called the occiput adjustment. Okay, so. I've been having like this head pressure on my right side since like a year. Um, I was with him before, um, he had other adjustments, but this head pressure still kind of never went away. So this time when we went through the occiput adjustment, the first time, it, I was like, what is that? Because it wasn't there anymore. And then also I was still experiencing some form of internal dizziness. It's really hard to explain, but it just felt like things were spinning inside. Um, that has dramatically decreased. Um, to where I, I like barely notice it. Still there, but like I barely notice it now. Like I can really almost feel like I'm 100% normal. So it, tell them why it took me three weeks to figure it out though. Oh, yeah. you were going through, he was literally testing everything. So we went through like my TMJ and then we went through like my neck, then my Atlas and my Oxyput. And then we basically had to go through like the details of how I was feeling with all of them. So I noticed when he like adjusted my TMJ then did my oxyput, then my atlas, like my ears started getting louder, the ringing went louder. Um, and then I just felt some relief in between and then my dizziness would go up and down. Um, so that's, I guess, what kind of like gave us the answer, I guess, to exactly. what was going on. Mm -hmm. We're still trying to figure it out, but at least we know now like what it might have involved, what it might involve now. Yeah. Um, she was, uh, we uh, spent a lot of time on TMJ because she goes, I don't have a TMJ problem. She didn't really think of it as a big, big deal. But uh, yesterday we spent a lot of time on this trying to figure out where her problem was coming from exactly. So we started work on the TMJ and I go, and I just did some just just baby trial in there. And I you'll see it in a few minutes. I'll do the, the work on her. And I just touched her jaw and she's like, ah, I was like, whoa, she's kind of hot on that TMJ. And I go, do you eat on one side of the mouth? She goes, yeah. And so I was like, well, yeah. She goes, I don't have any pain. This side is eating one side of the jaw more than the other side. And so we know that as a pain uh, thing, but she doesn't realize that. But again, the reason people do that is because you have one, uh, either the jaw or the teeth or something on that side is causing you to want to do the other side more, which creates a problem because of the imbalance. So fast forward, we worked on her jaw, we adjusted her TMJ, we did the work on it, and all of a sudden her dizziness and everything changed immediately. And so I knew we were on the right path, and uh, we did that twice so far. And uh, she had a moment too, like a realization moment of going, "Wow, this is could be it. Now I could be at the end of my final road of getting better." Mm -hmm. And so it's been a long road, and I'm glad I have been part of her journey. Um, still got some work to do, but I mean, we made a huge breakthrough this week. Yeah, I did a really ugly cry yesterday, so I'm glad I wasn't caught on camera. <laughs> So yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, it was pretty ugly. <laughs> yeah. So uh, anything else you want to share? Uh, no. Just, oh, well, other than I'm really thankful. Yeah. Thank I'm you thankful. so much. Like, so, this has been a lot of fun for me because uh, she's been very difficult. Yeah. <laughs> very difficult patient, and uh, but we've come. We actually, I think, come full circle, and uh, we like each other now. <laughs> He's okay. Yeah. <laughs> he, and she's okay. And she says, "You're really difficult to get along with." You know, you may know your stuff, but you're difficult. <laughs> and so I get it. And I go, you're difficult as a patient. So uh, we have mutual respect, mutual assured destruction here. So we're not going to kill mm -hmm. each other anymore, but we actually help each other. Um, so uh, let's get her uh, adjusted. I'm going to show you the adjustment we've done. That's really been a game changer. So anything else? No. Nope. Good. So don't clinch. Working right on the master muscle right 
We go to TMJ, and she thinks this is worse than death here. And the first time I did this, she wanted to, I don't know if she wanted to hit me, but she was wiggling pretty hardcore. She's sucking it up right now, she said this morning. Good. One more breath. A little deep on the screen. Good girl. There we go. How much do you love that? Tell us. I hate it. <laughs> okay. And you guys may think I'm pushing really hard. She thinks I'm going to break her jaw, she says. Yep. That shit hurts. Yeah. And her sinuses are a problem for sure. Oh. Good. Hoo-wee. Oh. I hate that. <laughs> oh my God. Now you guys give me a gesture here. Okay. We got it this morning really good. So we'll see if it goes again right now. And she says, relax your jaw, please. Breathe in. Breathe out. Wow. Woo-wee! Can you believe how much that's going? Ah, uh, there's like, oh, the rain is going up and down again. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay. Whoa. Whoa, right? Can you open your mouth, please? Here we go again. <laughs> she didn't know she had a TMJ problem. <laughs> wow. <sighs> I can definitely have some tension in that thing. We haven't done it enough. Since starting the occiput adjustments, um, oh, and the head pressure, of course, the right side. So the right side pressure is gone. My vision now, like, it's it's not moving as much. Like, it's barely, it's still not still, but it's way better. The eternal dizziness, the spinning inside, that's like drastically, I can barely notice it now. And her jaw now. And my jaw. And my jaw, I didn't even <laughs> I didn't even realize how much like it hurt until you actually like touched it. I was like, wow. So say goodbye, yeah. Alice. Bye. <laughs>